Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got a newcomer, we've never done one of his systems before and his name is Pubski TDX. so I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right but yeah we've got one of his systems to do today and he's never sent one before, he's, uh, he's, um, he's new to this so um, yeah um, nice to see more people um, doing this as well because a lot of people have been doing more recently. I'm trying to get around to doing them all because there's so many simulations to get through still but I'm, I'm slowly working for it but yeah today we've got one from... Um, well, this is his first ever simulation that he sent in. So, yeah, it's called Crazy um, Pubski Land. So, we'll be checking that out straight away. Before we start, though, guys, I want to say a massive thank you, as always, because we are closing on 2,000... Oh, no, 2,000... 5,700 subs now. So, let's really see if we can keep that push going to get uh, 6,000 before the end of the year. Because it's going to be really close. But, yeah, just a massive, massive thanks. Because um, it's much, much appreciated, guys. But, anyways, let's get into this. So, Crazy Pubski Land. All right, let's do this. So, let's open and let's search it up. All right, there we go, and let's see what we have got now. So I already know he's a modder as well. So um, yeah, it could be some modded stuff in here. All right, so um, hello guys and Luke, thanks for checking out my system. It's been my dream for years now. All right, awesome. Thank you and keep up the good work from your friend Pubske TDX. Okay, or TDX. I'm, oh, I keep saying all these letters wrong. All right. Oh my God, there's a ton of things here. Wow. All right. So let's um head to our um star in the middle and let's begin. All right. So this is um Stask. I'm hoping saying any. I'm both saying these right. All right, so um, we have got this here, and let's compare it to Proxima Centauri since it looks like a red dwarf to me. So there it is there. Okay, so it's actually a little bit bigger than that. Like, what about the sun? There goes uh, more. Maybe more of an orange dwarf star then. All right, so yeah, we've got um, this one here, 540 uh, masses or 546, 0 0.05. So 5% the um, brightness of the sun there. Alrighty, alright, so the first object, we have a green planet already modded, so here it is here, and it's actually frozen, okay, so first planet is frozen at 199 degrees, so the frozen glitch has um, appeared in this simulation, ah oh dear, that's a shame, damn you frozen glitch, yeah, the frozen glitch sucks, but yeah, and here is the first planet, so can we try and warm it up, maybe if we pause, oh no, it's playing, is it is it going to melt or anything, I mean, we can sort of get a look at what it would look like, it, I'm guessing it would look like this, maybe, or, or something like that, Right, if we can add the water back, see it's a little bug. But if we click play, it just does that, which is makes no sense. But yeah, you guys saw what it looked like underneath that. Right, next up we have got mining world. So let's check this out. Oh my! And it's a moon with city lights. Oh, very nice. With um, it looks like a cream sort of a creamy white ATM there atmosphere. So that is looking pretty nice, I have to say. Um, with the moon with an atmosphere, it does look really good. I've never, I don't think, I don't know. I think I have seen one of these before. Yeah, I have seen a colonized moon. But yeah, this is or not colonized, but I have seen one with um clouds, and it looks really good actually. Thirty-five um, point five degrees as well. It's a mining world, so this would be. Um, there won't really be many water here. This is just like a colony, pretty much. There, yeah, that's cool. I like that. 50,000 kilometers as well, damn. Alright, next up we've got um, Acetas, and damn, that's a nice purple. Ooh, have I seen something like this before? I'm not sure. But that is a very, very dark purple. Check, that's a nice purple. Purple and black gas giant. Oh, that is a very nice gas giant, I have to say there. Very, very well done with that. Alright, so there we go. Next up we've got his own planet, so the Pubsky planet here. Or Pubsky planet, I'm saying that right. Alright, so we've got this one here, and it's looking like a... Um, Terraform world looking pretty cool. I have seen a lot of ones similar to this as well So I don't know if he's um, used other people's objects in this or not, but I, I have no idea But yeah, this one does look quite similar to some other people's um, objects I've seen and nonetheless it does look amazing So yeah, whoever made it very very nice indeed um, So it's got um, yeah, it's climate modes all in it with a white atmosphere And it does look like a realistic sort of earth look like which is pretty cool. So 14 degrees one mass of earth and there we have that. Yeah, I've definitely seen one someone's posted, which is really similar to that. So I don't know if this one is he's used that as a template or not. All right. Um, next up, we got Peach G. So this is a gas giant in the peach sort of color. I think I got. I think I have this as well. Let me see. Peach. Yeah. There we go. Peach G. There we go. Yeah, because I gave him. I gave him some of mine. I think. But yeah, he's got it there. So looking really nice indeed. So yeah, there is that. So Peach G. Right here. So two thousand or twenty thousand kilometers there. Looking very nice. Um, and we've got um, Bell Quar Quarus. So let's see here. So it's no atmosphere with water on it though. Four degrees. So not really a not really a hassable place indeed. It's no atmosphere for a start. So yeah, life likelihood is on zero without that atmosphere. So yeah, that's that one. Right, where are we heading next? Uh, next up, we got Blobby. Okay, let's see where we go over here. 
So this is a it looks like a yellow yeah, yellow sort of um atmosphere and clouds there. 41 degrees, so pretty hot here actually. Um 91, then 76 on those stats, okay? It's rotating in a weird way as well. Look how it's uh, spinning. They've got the, the one of the poles there. Yeah, this thing's spinning all over the place. Um, then we've got Aura Packs. I know that's a default name. I've seen it multiple times. Um, we've got this one here. So it's going for Neptune Blue and a, a Magenta there. That's looking pretty nice indeed. So there is that. All right, there are those two. All right. Um, we've got a Mars in here as well. Um, we'll go to Sus21 next. And oh, damn. Oh my, look at this. Now, we have not seen many of these planets in a while. The crazy cloud. I wish we saw more of objects like this. Like, if you guys want to, um, or want something that I'll definitely enjoy, definitely make these, because these are really cool. So, yeah, the bright reflective cloud planets. We, I don't even remember the last time I saw one of these in a simulation. Like, the only copy I have of one of these is the Fire God here, but this doesn't look like fire god to me i mean fire god's a completely different color but so yeah really really cool now we definitely need to get some of these in different colors imagine a green one of these or a blue one they look amazing so yeah guys definitely get on uh, making one of these if you're interested in making something that looks awesome because these are really really cool like i mean look at the clouds on it i mean the clouds are what make it what it is i mean without the clouds it just does it looks really pretty regular but with those clouds oh it looks amazing so yeah there it is there very nice indeed i really like that one so there is that. We've also got Party Earth in here. This was made by Mr. Missalot based off some dumb gamer's object. Um, so yeah, we've seen this one before. It's really cool though. And then we got Part Part. And this is the original object um, with Earthlight still. And this is this is what it looked like originally before it was turned into an Earth. But you can still sort of see the Earth texture laid out on it. So it is slightly different to the original one, which is here. This is the original copy. So yeah, there it is there. That has no Earth texture on it at all because this... That they gave it an earth texture when they made that but yeah this has no earth texture it's just a completely messed up load of twaddle i guess like oh man if anyone can be able to replicate making these that'd be amazing because i don't think anyone's managed to recreate one something like this before, um yet so yeah that's a massive goal for you modders out there see if you can create one of these because that'd be awesome to get more copies of this because this is an extremely rare object there but yeah there it is here so we've got um two of those crazy um what even if this objects here Right, then we've got um, Coal Cold over here, and this thing's smoking up, actually. Look at that. So it's going with more of a lime-coloured atmosphere, lime green. Quite small in size, which is probably the reason why it's smoking up there. So to fix that, we'll just plop it at one moon. There we go, to stop that smoke, because that's really annoying. So there we've got that one there. All right, um, we've done that one. Yeah, we've done those. Um, we've done that. Okay, so next up, we've got Mars. Okay, so this is a... Oh, yeah, I reckon... I, yeah, I've seen this one before. This is really cool, though. It's the green... It's the green Mars. I know he didn't make this one. Um, yeah, it's the green-tinted Mars with a white atmosphere. I mean, look how cool that looks. I mean... And it's got city green city lights as well. Like, this is one of the coolest... Um, or one of the really, really high-level sort of modern objects right here. This is one of the really, really like high-level things modders do like these are really cool like the tinted the different colored atmosphere the different colored city lights which is done by the tint and obviously ma making it a mars as well that is really really cool indeed uh, and then we've got some a bunch of spacecrafts around it as well so there are those rightio yeah that mars is really really cool so there is that and i've, yeah, I've seen that i've definitely seen that before so Right, now we've got some more banded gas giants out here. I think I have a copy of this one as well. Um, so we've got that one there. Then we've got Neptunian guys world. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, so this is one of the new breed of gas giants with the city lights as well. So this is one of the um, gas giants with atmosphere gas giants. And they're looking amazing as always. Let's put it up to like 400 degrees so we can get the clouds as well. Is that going to work? Come on, clouds. Hey, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Got the clouds there. Oh, that's looking pretty cool. Oh, yeah, look at that now. Yeah, the clouds really do uh, add that little bit of extra in it. Yeah, without water and with it being too cold, the clouds won't be there. So, yeah, there is that. Looking really cool, though. All right, where are we heading next? Oh, we've got a Zimbabwe. This is um, one of Guren's planets here. So, yeah, this is one of his um, prized possession planets, I guess. I think he really likes this one. So, yeah, we've got and this one here with the green, the red, the orange, the red, black, and then red, orange, yellow, green again. Yeah, we, we've seen this one before as well. Really, really nice. Um, then we've got Luna 2 over here. So, this is a... This is another one of those um, Earth-like um, objects with a white atmosphere as well. 77 and 28 on the stats there. All right, so there is that. All right, cool. All right, where, where are we heading next? It's quite hard to see where we're heading next. All the planets are quite close in proximity with their orbits. Okay, so next up we've got this one. Oh, no, we, no, we've already seen that. No, no, we did that one. Um, so the next one would be... 
this one, I think. I think this one's it's just an asteroid anyway. Um, oh, some of the orbits are going crazy there. Oh, we got a um, rainbow one here. So that's looking awesome as always. Yeah, we've seen this in loads of simulations in the past as well. But yeah, the rainbow one's always nice to see. The only thing I have with it is the yellow's a little dark. The, ye the, the, the orange and the yellow are quite dim compared to the other colours, I have to say, on that. But it's still a really cool planet. So yeah, that is that one. Oh, it's really hard to see where we're heading next. Um, yeah, we've done... Oh, no, we haven't done this one. Oh, I, re I remember this one. I think we saw this one quite recently, actually. Um, yes, it's um, the Charizard um, planet here. With the red and the orange. Yeah, I, that has been in a, a, an episode recently. Um, so there is that. Next up, we got... Oh, yeah, are these just all asteroids? So I'm not going to zoom in on them. Sycorax. Oh, is that a Doctor Who reference? Let me know. Because that was the name of some of the aliens in the British... TV show Doctor Who, if anyone's wondering what that is. Um, yeah, but is that... Is this a reference? I'm not sure. Um, then we just got some more asteroids out there. Um, Francisco. All right. And then we've got a Uranus out here. So this is the custom modified Uranus, looking way better than the regular Uranus any, Uranus any day. And it's got some of Uranus's moons in here as well, spawned in, it looks like. So yeah, they're all just a, re a regular Uranus moon, so they're not really anything um, we need to um, really check out. And then, unless they're customised, I mean, may maybe Juliet... Miranda's the closest to the larger moons. Ariel. Yeah, I don't think these are customized, but yeah, there they are anyway. So, looking good. Actually, one object we need to do for a custom competition is a Triton. That is that We definitely need to do one of those. The next one is also Planet 10 for anyone wondering and wants a sneak preview. I guess Planet 10 will be the next uh, one we're doing um, for the competitions. But yeah, that is that for the um, Pubski system here. So yeah, it was the Pubski land one. Yeah, so that was it for this system. So guys, let me know um, what you think down below of this system. It wasn't really the longest system of all time, but it's still pretty. Um, got some pretty sweet objects in here. There's the full lineup of them all as well. Well, I really do like the moon, though. Oh, it's all frozen up. Oh, no. Why is it frozen? That's not right. Why, why is it all frozen? It's 38 degrees. It's the frozen glitch taking the sky over as well. But, yeah, there is that. So, yeah, we've got some really cool um, objects in here. Also, some new faces. I've not, I don't think I've seen that one before. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've not seen that. So there's some, And then some, obviously, some faces that we know or we've seen in the past, obviously, with the Party Earth. We've definitely seen this Mars at some point before as well. And I I'm pretty sure I've seen something like this guy as well. Uh, and this one as well. The um, white atmosphered Earth-like planets. We've definitely seen those around as well before from your guys' systems. But still a pretty cool system nonetheless. Um, so, yeah, um, not bad for a first system as well because I think this is... Or the first thing. Oh, well, actually, no, it's not his first system, but yeah, still not a bad system in general. It's got some interesting stuff in here as well. That gas giant is almost as big as a star as well. Look. So yeah, there is that, guys. So let me know what you thought down below in the comments, because I'm always um, reading those within 24 hours of the videos going up. And yeah, let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video, guys. And also, let's um, continue pushing to the 6,000 subscriber mark. So subscribe if you haven't already. Helps on the journey there, because we are closing on it pretty quickly at the moment so yeah just a massive thanks um again guys because it's much 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 appreciated and yeah make sure you guys all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye